as the month and our focus on tech comes to a close, we are going to zoom through a fleet of gadgets that we have here in the studio that impact the developing world. 780 million people around the world do not have access to safe drinking water. This is like an actual straw. Exactly. In the, in the developing world, rivers, you know, places where people actually collect water can be filled with uh, a Any, lot of bad standing things. water, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, so let's so, see it. Take yeah. a sip. Straw time. So you're literally drinking out of this thing, and there are basically filters on the inside of this, miniature filters, uh, micro filters. How does it taste? Okay. It's, it's, it's clean, <laughs> I think. Um, it's clean. The Doesn't filter's working. Wonderful. I'm not getting, like, dirt in there. Okay. But it was hard to suck this thing up. It's portable. <laughs> I like it, but, you know, maybe not the best thing for kids. There are 2,000 deaths a day worldwide attributed to the lack of proper sanitation facilities. This is the Santo toilet pan, and it helps make latrines more sanitary by stopping the attraction of insects and isolation. Excrement. Yeah, I think the best way to deal with this is just to show you. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, and this is uh, actually the Sato uh, toilet. Um, this is built for open pit latrines, which I have actually used a lot of them in my day. Mm -hmm. um, and those don't have any type of protection to keep the bugs away from getting into your, you know, into mm -hmm. your body. So what you do is you, you handle your business, and then you take water. Bam. There you go. Flush. All right, these are 3D sockets. They're printed 3D printed trans tibial sockets from the semaphore lab at the University of Toronto intended for children with amputations and these are specifically for below the knee amputees. Yes. So and it's made with a 3D printer. Yes. Wow. Which besides the awesomeness of being 3D printed, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm obsessed with everything 3D printed, um, what's great about this is that it, it allows uh, kids to be able to be mobile uh, because they're not really focused, they're focusing on sockets. So just basic mobility for children is, is what these guys are all about. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Head over to takepart.com for more innovations that are helping the developing world.